Hello students, welcome to our next video that is on the steering and suspension systems of the two wheelers. Now in the case of the two wheelers, we saw about the steering and the suspension that is required in the case of the two wheelers. We saw that there are mainly two components that is being required in case of the two wheelers. That is a spring and the second one is the shock absorber. So these two things make one assembly that is known as the spring and shock absorber assembly. Whichever vehicle we are using either four wheeler, three wheeler or two wheeler, these two things will always be common in case of the assembly. This assembly is connected in the engine and it has the different arrangements from that, that there are different types of the suspension systems. If you can remember there are the types in case of the suspension system for the four wheeler was the Bishmont type, Macpherson type, Trailing Link type, Half Axel type. These were the types for the four wheeler suspension systems. Now in case of the two wheeler there are different types depending on the arrangement of these suspension system assembly. These two components will always be common but to arrange them the different linkages will be provided so that proper arrangement of the suspension can be obtained. So let's see which are the types of the suspension system first. The types of the suspension system. The first one is the Springer Force suspension. This can be known as the first generation suspension system which was earlier used in case of the two wheelers, the motorcycles. Second thing is the girder force suspension system. This type is can be called as the second generation suspension system which was used in the case of the two wheelers and which little bit removes the disadvantage that was in the first generation type. The next type is the trailing and leading link suspension. We almost saw same function about this in case of the four wheelers as well. In case of the two wheelers, the trailing and leading suspension will be there. The trailing link suspension might have heard in case of the Activas. The Activas up to the BS5 model or we can say BS4 model, they were using the trailing link suspension. Next is the telescopic fork suspension. Right. It is the most widely used suspension system nowadays in the case of the two wheelers, especially the wheelers, two wheelers which have an automatic transmission vehicles such as Activas and Jupiter. They use nowadays telescopic fork suspension because it provides a very much optimum ride comfort to the driver which has a comparatively lower weight as well. Right. This is also a criteria in case of the suspension system as well. Whenever we talk about the components of the vehicle, the weight will always be the criteria. Right. The weight is criteria, the weight should be as low as possible to obtain the components and to get the highest average of the vehicle. If weight is more in case of the two wheelers, then the engine power will have to be increased. Right. And when the power is increased, the average of the vehicle or the mileage of the vehicle will reduce. Next thing is the single link type of the suspension system that is generally used in case of the front side. Right? Single link means, means we will provide one A type link or we can say a type of a Bishmon link will be provided and on that link the suspension will be connected to the steering system. Next is the double link type suspension system. Now in case of the double link there are two parallel links will be provided and it will be same as the double wishbone system that we saw in the four wheelers. But these two system will provide an extra weight to the vehicle and number of component will also increase. So whenever there are more number of component this, there is a disadvantage for the two wheelers. But this system provides the maximum comfort a vehicle can obtain. So it can be used in a higher end vehicles where the engine power is already more and also where the comfort is a maximum priority at that this type of arrangement can be used. Next are the types of the rear suspension. 
right also in the rear of the vehicle there are suspension systems provided the first one is the hard tail suspension system in which there are no spring and absorber arrangement the arrangement of the linkages will be provided and one spring below the seat will be provided the driver seat will have a spring below its system this is the only part that was provided in the earlier hard tail suspension system which is now not generally used because to balance the vehicle without the suspension in the rear side is a pretty much harder idea next thing is the swing arm type rear suspension system and which is the most widely used suspension system in the rear of the vehicle nowadays right and the last one is the rocker and the link arm type suspension system right these are the three types of the rear suspension systems in from that there are two that is swing arm type and the rocker and link type these two are used in the rear side of the vehicle but mostly we are using the swing arm type rear suspension system now let's see how these suspension system are arranged and why they are classified as the different suspension systems the first one or we can say the first generation suspension system from where we started using the spring and shock absorber the first one is the springer for suspension in that case you can see that two fixed forks and the two active forks are been attached with our wheel and those forks are very longer from the wheel hub to the, almost to the handle bar it goes from below to the upper side it has a very high length also in that case the suspension strut the spring and the absorber assembly is arranged between those forks as well this forks is directly connected to the head tube which is connected with our handle bar right it has disadvantage that cg is increased so the ride height is increased right also you can see in this figure that in the earlier motorcycles this type of springer ford suspension was used you can see that spring is directly connected with our handle bar right you can see that it is very at the top most part so load will have to transmit from the downward side towards almost at the handle bar so it will be transferred slightly to the handle bar as well so it will not provide the comfort that is required for the driver the second type is the girder fork suspension the girder forks are used in case of the fixed air forks that was used in case of the earlier type in this case the only difference is that one triangle of the forks is been created which is important for the law of triangulation the law of triangulation says that whenever the arrangement of the links is made in the triangular direction then the load that is being applied on the system will be lower so generally we try to maintain the triangle arrangement whenever we arrange any linkage is part in case of the vehicle so this gives us the law of triangulation you can see that girder fork is connected with our active link also the suspension strut is slightly inclined and it is connected with the head tube and with the girder fork so it provides a little bit better comfort but still it is at the top part the suspension it is at very higher part so we will not get the comfort that is required you can see the girder type suspension system that was earlier used right in that case you can see the triangle is being formed with the help of forks and the suspension criteria is being arranged in between them next is the trailing and the leading link suspension in the case of the trailing and leading link suspension if our linkage is is being at the below side which means if our suspension part which contains the spring and absorber assembly is ahead of our linkage is that is known as the leading link suspension if our linkage is ahead which means our suspension is behind our linkage is that will be known as the trailing link suspension system in that case if the suspension is leading you are getting the leading force from the suspension and as well as steering as well you can see that triangle is also formed in this case as well but the suspension is pretty much at the lower height and it will provide a better 
absorbability and also it will provide a better comfort to the driver. You can see one example of the leading link suspension in that you can see that absorber is coming in the downward direction and it is ahead and in the behind of that the linkage is, is being attached. This is an older design of the Activa in which the linkage is, is ahead type and the absorber is on the behind. So this is one type of the trailing link suspension. And the telescopic fork suspension which is very widely used the suspension system nowadays. In the case of the telescopic suspension you will not see a spring in the outer side. Right, there will only be suspension that you will see a shock absorber that you will see. The spring is given inside the suspension system, inside the damper. You can see on the left side is the diagram that is being shown for the telescopic shock or suspension. In that case, you can see the spring is given inside. Also, because of this arrangement, you will get a optimum support and optimum comfort that is required for the vehicle. Because of this arrangement, the Activa has changed from the trailing ring suspension to the telescopic suspension in case of the newer models that is BS6 models. Right? It was a little bit costlier than the trailing ring suspension but it provides a better comfort compared to the earlier design. The working will be similar is that whenever the load will come the spring will vibrate and because of the vibration the absorber will work in the same way that the damper works and the vibration will be absorbed in this case as well. So until now we saw about the suspension system which is generally used in case of the two wheelers. From the next video we will see about the front suspension, rear suspension and we will see about the active systems that is generally right now used in higher end two wheelers that gives us the active vehicle arrangement with the ECU arrangement. Right. Until then, thank you so much.